like um, why why are Muslim people scared of dogs? We are not scared of uh, dogs. Yeah. The thing is that as Muslims, yeah, we can keep dogs for security reasons. Yeah. To for guarding. But otherwise, we can't keep dogs just like, you know, we see so many women with dogs and what they are doing, they are, you know, like a husband, you know, catching the dog like this or uh, they are uh, laying on the bed, the woman is there, the dog is on the bed as well. I mean, these things which are not good for guarding, for security, yes. Yeah, but, but just for playing around with them, and no, not not allowed yeah but the thing is my dog is to guard me and it works so well yeah. i think it's very good to keep jihadis away but it's so why are they so scared because i'm not cutting if i walk in the street i'm not saying oh some muslim they have black dogs even black dogs but most of them they are terrified so yeah. is it because you the angels go away when there is a dog that's what it says in the hadith okay, listen. You are telling me yeah. that the Muslims are scared, the Muslims are terrified. Let me tell you. The majority, this is anecdotal, okay? okay. This is what I experienced. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. There are more than 200 countries in the world, okay? All oh, right. There are more than 200 countries in the world, and nearly every country has an army, okay? Now, of all the armies in the world, yeah. okay, they are telling us, Western people, they are telling us the Turkish army is the bravest army in the world. Now let me tell you, the Turkish army, they are Muslims. You understand? Another thing, Muslims as a whole, they are very, very brave. Okay? Oh yeah, I'm not yeah. denying that they're very. Some of them are very, very brave. brave to sacrifice their life for Allah's martyrs, right? <laughs> but I tell you, which one is the best army? Not only that, the best me. army is IDF. Pardon? IDF, the Israeli army. You can't beat them. It's a little who country. Said, who said? The actions, the evidence, they destroyed Gaza okay. and now they're on their way to destroy Lebanon, right? I don't rejoice in that, but yeah. how can a little country, right? Do you know, do you know why? No, that's wrong. Do you know why? Because God is with Israel. God is with Israel. No, actually she's wrong. You are wrong. I'm not wrong. Yeah, you are. I'm not wrong. I'll talk to you later on. Do you later consider on. the BBC to be an authentic site? Excuse me. Do you consider the BBC? Can you be quiet? Can I speak? You speak first, I'll speak. I am the son of a Second World War soldier. A Muslim soldier, you called us over here. Let me tell you, there were one million Muslim soldiers just from the Indian Army who fought for you. Okay? Now what you are doing, listen. Now I'm and British. You live here. No, and uh, the, you were, British. Yeah, you live I'm here. British. You're British, but British. you were, they compensated I'm your Brit family. Who? Who? Well, you live here. You're not no. in your parents' country. You're British. No, they made you one of their own, this no, country, listen, right? Listen, your family. Listen. In the Second World War, the Europeans destroyed themselves. So what happened? When my father was a soldier, after the war, they need to demobilize. Okay? Yeah. They don't need all those soldiers. So what the, my father used to tell me, the British used to tell them, these Muslim soldiers, other soldiers, to come over to England. Why? Why? This was all so much destruction. So the people who came from abroad, they are the ones, brother, they are the ones who, they are the, brothers, please, they are the ones who rebuilt these countries. Yeah, and I don't have an issue okay. with that. I'm not a national, I'm not even okay. British myself. Okay. But, but, I, but I'm just stating, wrong. I'm just stating, like, I'm just stating, like, yeah. I'm just stating yeah, okay. that Israel you? is the best army in the world. You can't Who deny that. The best they can't, because okay. look how smart okay. they are. Okay. And you know why? Because God is behind them. Can the I Bible speak? says, no, no, if you fight with Israel, God will fight against you. It tells you in the Bible. Can I speak now? Yeah. You said, excuse me, British, I'm British, so okay. He's British, British. more British than you, okay. brother. And English, they're, brother. They're the new people of the okay, UK. Yeah, <laughs> you talk a lot, you haven't let me speak yet. Pardon? You haven't let me speak yet. Yeah, because I'm speaking to the lady. Speaking so, speak, look, okay? look, look. 
She's speaking to She's me speaking one to one. She's speaking to the husband's not here. Brother, please. Do he doesn't mind. Come on, I'm answering your question.